Hey, what's up everybody? I'm going to show you how to use Koala Sampler as a looper inside of AUM. First thing you need to know though is how to route audio from AUM directly into Koala. So as you can see here, I got some drums, bassline, chords. That's the inputs, but on the outputs, I have it routed to Mix Bus A. And each one of these channels is routed to Mix Bus A. So the final channel, the input, is going to be Mix Bus A. And on the first effects slot, that's where we put Koala, right? So we can put effects before or after, but so long as Koala's in an effects slot, all of this audio is going to be routed to Koala. So when we go into Koala, we're going to see IAA, Inner App Audio. We're going to want to click the headphone icon to on to where it's lit. So now let's go into settings. And the first thing we're going to see in general is one shot enabled by default. Let's click that on. The next thing we're going to see is hold to record. We're going to want to click that off. So now we're almost ready to start using this as a looper. Here's the part where it becomes a looper. So I'm going to play a four bar loop. And I know that each time it's going to loop around, it's going to play whatever I, I put at the first slot. So let's just add a note for each pad on the first step. So now we're ready to record. There it is, it's already looping around, right? So let's record some drums. Sweet, let's record a bass line. So here you have it, chords, drums, bass line. Now you can do this for all 16 pads, layer it up as much as you want. You can record external instruments. Whatever gets routed through AUM is going to be recorded into Koala. You can also do this as a resample, right? So if you have better drums that you can route to Koala, you can resample your own playing into there. So this is a very useful tool. It almost turns AUM into a, a like a multi-track recorder. All right. Well, thank you for watching. Hope this helps. Peace.